She's a writer, director, producer, and she stars in her own show. Stay tuned for Melissa Eno Epa. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Hey everyone, welcome to Mini Spotlight. I'm Veronica Briga, and I'm here with the talented and most amazing Melissa. Welcome, how are you? Good, how about yourself? I'm good, doing good. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, perfect. So let's get right into it. Um, you've managed to do something that most people just dream about. They come out here and they have this giant dream to start in their own show, but not only have you starred in your own show, you have created it, you produced it, you wrote it, you directed it. Congratulations on Hard Medicine. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Tell us, uh, tell tell everyone about Hard Medicine if they if they haven't had a chance to to see the show. So Hard Medicine is a mockumentary web series about a medical clinic. So similar to the show The Office, it's like The Office meets Scrubs and it okay. comes together. And it's about. Um, this medical team that's working together to keep the clinic open for okay. the corporate heads who just want to knock it down for their own economic gain. Wait, wait, okay. So based on life, what really happens? Yeah, <laughs> what really happens in the what clinic? What really happens, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what is uh, so? Wh who's your character? Because I know there's a lot of female leads in this show, which I yeah. really appreciate and love. Tell us about your character. So my character, her name is Clarice, and she is the office receptionist. And okay. she's like just a really snarky character. She takes her job like super, super seriously. <laughs> okay. She calls herself the gatekeeper okay. of the clinic. Like oh. no one's gonna come past her if they're not supposed to. So yeah, that's my character. Yeah, and you're you're very funny in this. Thank you. Yeah, did you? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> did, you, did you start as, as I, I couldn't figure it out. I was trying to figure it out. I'm like, did she start behind the scenes and move into acting, or was it the other way around? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I has been an actress since I was 13, so oh, like that okay. was my first passion. And then I really became fascinated about the yeah. behind the scenes and how to come up with story and writing. Yeah. So it started with acting first. It started, mm -hmm. okay, well, hey, it worked out for you to do everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, um, so you went to college here in LA, right? I did, I went to Loyola Marymount University. Cool. Yeah. And during that time, I read that you were, um, you had shot the pilot or you were shoot, you were sort of in, in the process of getting the pilot off the ground. Yeah. So yeah. I graduated early in 2014. Okay. And then I moved back home to Atlanta and I couldn't find a job okay. in Atlanta. I wanted to like see if there were more opportunities in Atlanta right. for me to work. Like produ the business production? In production. Okay, gotcha. Because um, yeah. that's where I'm from. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't find anything. And so instead of just like sitting around. I was like, I can like make something. I love it. Um, yeah. And my mom, she's a doctor, so um, <laughs> okay, I would go to work with her. <laughs> yeah, so I would go to work with her every day, and I just got inspired from just being there, and that's what kind of started um, Heart Medicine, and that's when I shot the pilot. Okay, mm -hmm. and your main character is a female doctor. Is mm -hmm. she kind of based on your mom? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's definitely based off my mom. I mean, my mom is probably not as, like, crazy, mm -hmm. but she definitely has, like, quirky moments, so a okay. lot of that is inspired. And she has a really close relationship with her patients, and she was really is passionate about her job, like the main character, Dr. Moore. So, it's a real yeah. life inspiration. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, now, this is amazing. So, you shot the pilot, and then it ended up in the hands of Jay Ellis. Yes. Who is the one of the stars of Insecure, you mm -hmm. know, on, on HBO, um, and just, yeah, just huge actor. Um, how did you get connected with, with Jay and get that off the ground? Yeah. So, basically, I got connected to his mom first, their producing partners. Oh, um, well, that's and nice. yeah. I I basically pitched to them hard medicine and they really loved it and just took me under their wing yeah. and yeah the rest is history. <laughs> Do you consider him a mentor? Oh yeah, yeah absolutely like he first of all he's super super down to earth yeah which that's refreshing um, when you meet someone who's like super talented and obviously yeah. like a mega star and yeah. but also like just super grounded and just really is passionate about the project so um, I definitely consider him a mentor, like a big brother. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Now, was it important to you um, to, you know, cast this a certain way? I know there's a lot of diversity uh, mm -hmm. in your show. 
and and you know women leads which which I really love and appreciate um, mm -hmm. was it important for you to to approach it in that way or did that sort of come later or, or you know did you always have that intention yeah I think that honestly because um, it was inspired from my mom uh -huh. um, naturally the lead was a african-american woman yeah and I was just kind of basing the story um, with what I was seeing. Okay. Um, so, but yeah, also I'm really passionate about uh, representation and, yeah. and diversity and showcasing um, African American women in, in lead roles, in yeah. powerful roles, um, not just subservient roles. So, right. yeah, so definitely it's something that um, I want to continue doing. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes such a great statement, you know, and I, I was telling the, uh, we had an actress in here earlier, and she had worked with a woman, a uh, writer, director, producer, and it just makes for much more uh, dynamic characters, yeah, you know? Because yeah. a, a lot of times people just have this, this idea of what a, a woman is, and mm -hmm. she was very limited. You're a nurse. Right. You're a mom, but, but you know, on your show, it's like they, they have layers, and, exactly. they're, and they're everything, and exactly. they're much more, so mm -hmm. we love that. Um, all right, so what, okay, what are your favorite parts? Uh, about being a producer, writer, director, and then what is something that you're kind of like, oh, it's my job, but I, I'd rather not? Yeah, hmm, that's a great question. Um, I really love seeing everything just come to life and like come yeah. together. Like, it's just such a great feeling to see something that you had in your head, like, yeah. just come to life. And then also, it's just the best feeling when people like send me messages saying like, oh my God, like it's so funny, like you made me laugh, you like that's made cool. my whole day. Like that's honestly, it just makes the whole thing worth it. Yeah. Um, now the part that's like hard, or what's difficult for me is like being a director and an actress, oh, sure. like directing myself or like oh, wow, yeah. having to direct and then jump behind the camera. Imagine, um, because, yeah. Um, yeah, just like having to like think and use your brain in so many different ways yeah. can be really, really challenging. Um, but it's like, I signed up for this, so yeah. it's like, you gotta do it, um, type of thing. Um, but I just really wanted to see what I was capable of and yeah. to see, like, can I do this? So that's kind of why I did it. Um, but it was definitely challenging. Yeah. Wow, you did it. You certainly did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so is there a season two or uh, how's that coming about? Have you guys working on that? Yeah, yeah. We're actually starting to um, develop a season two and, uh -huh. and hopefully we can continue going with it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we're just we're just hopeful to see what happens with it. But yeah, we, we would love to have a season two. And and mm -hmm. season one is now. Uh, where can they watch season one on the? Yes, you can watch season one on Urban Movie Channel, um, yeah. UMC TV, and you get a free week. It's it's five dollars or four ninety nine a month, um, but you get a free week, and um, there's oh. eight episodes. I think you can um, binge watch yes. Hard Medicine <laughs> for the whole week. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> show it was not like you know some some shows you can't binge watch it binge mm -hmm. watch uh but yours is yours is a really good one to Thank just you. get in and, and stay with it so yeah thank well, you so much yeah congratulations um and i guess before we go let's see um any other scripts you want to talk about or upcoming projects um, well, I mean, aside from this, I also have a show um, called No Shade. It's on YouTube, and it's a sketch comedy show. Oh, cool. Um, but other than that, I'm just continuing to just write original stuff and, yeah. and see where it goes. Um, because my goal is to be in a writer's room one day. Okay, great. Um, so, so yeah. But, yeah, in the meantime, watch Hard Medicine. Yes. Let me know what you think. Hit me up on Instagram. Yes. So where can they find you on Instagram? Oh, you can find me at Melissa NLF. At Melissa and Aleppo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. <laughs>